Hello everybody and welcome back to Beatley Tones Beatles channel. Lovely to have you here. Thanks for joining me for this video and I hope you're all doing well. Now in today's video I'm going to be asking a question and that is do you consider uh, these two singles Free as a Bird and Real Love uh, to be real Beatles songs? Um, and that is a question that uh, is a little bit of a grey area and uh, I want to talk about that there's a couple of other things that I want to talk about in this video um, before we get on with that and um, this weekend it is uh, Glastonbury uh, here in the UK and it's the Glastonbury Festival and uh, it seems incredible that it is already uh, a year since Paul's uh, astonishing uh, performance at Glastonbury last last year uh, a performance that was sort of universally uh, acclaimed as the best ever uh, performance at the Glastonbury Festival Fe festival's been going for 50 years and um, it's the it's you know, it's been a year uh, this this Glastonbury Festival, uh, Elton John is headlining on the main stage uh, tomorrow night, I think, and uh, be interesting to see whether Elton um, can top Paul's performance. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I don't really fancy his chances that much, but I'm sure that Elton will give it a good go. Uh, it's supposed to be his last ever uh, gig, according to him. So we'll see how he goes with that um but that's interesting but it kind of reminded me that last year when paul did his uh, glassmere gig um i um i did a, a video uh review of it that night and i wanted to include some clips and they were just clips that i'd recorded off uh, off of my tv uh on my on my phone but i wanted to include them as part of the video because it added a bit of substance to uh, to what i was saying uh, about about the gig and uh, I know that um, the, the the gig was has never been shown outside the UK. Um, it's it's got copyright on it, and it's only uh, to be shown to holders of a, a BBC uh, UK TV license. So when I, you know uploaded my video with these clips on it uh youtube said no you can't include them so i had to take them all out now with it being uh, a year on and there being a new uh, glastonbury festival um i'm hoping that the bbc may have lifted that copyright restriction and if they have um i'm going to um recreate that video but reinsert all the clips so that people around the world can uh, actually see what happened at that Glastonbury Festival uh, Paul's, in during Paul's performance um, because that would definitely enhance the video and I know loads of people uh, you know outside of the UK want to see it so um, I'm going to try that at some point next week and uh, hopefully uh, that will come off so please stay tuned to the channel for that if you've not seen uh, any of the the clips from uh, from the Glastonbury festival pools performance last year okay so that's coming up um me and mrs beatley tone are gonna uh, gonna celebrate a year since the uh, since the performance by uh, having a rerun it of of it and uh we've all stuff still got it saved on my uh, sky disc um and uh, to you know to add a little bit of authenticity to it we're going to get some tall people uh, to come round and put their girlfriends on their shoulders right in front of us so we can't actually see anything that's on the stage just kidding obviously um the other thing i wanted to mention was i uh, just want to say a big thank you and a big welcome uh, to all the new subscribers to the channel been quite a lot of you recently uh, thanks very much for uh, subscribing and supporting the channel in that way and i hope you're enjoying the content here okay so on to uh, the main uh, main topic of, of this and that is um free as a bird free as a bird and real love are these genuinely uh, real Beatles songs now the reason why I'm asking this is because we've all been talking about uh, now and then this week um, talking about it like crazy and there's been a couple of co comments that I've had on my videos from uh, various viewers um, who have well one said in particular said uh, this is not uh, a Beatles song nor was free as a bird and 
real love and uh, it, they never will be. Uh, these are solo John Lennon tracks and uh, I kind of wanted to, to address that because when uh, when Free, Free as a Bird came out uh, in 1995 I can remember uh, the moment of hearing it for the first time and uh, you know they played it on the radio uh, maybe a couple of weeks before it was actually released and I can remember hearing it on the radio for the first time and this was like a really uh, emotional moment for me and um, you know uh, you know hearing uh, John and Paul and George you know all being on the same record all singing on the same record uh, you know after all that time you know I was too young um, to you know catch the Beatles as a working band uh, the first time round and um, you know it never even crossed my mind um, that this wasn't uh, a Beatles song or people would consider it to perhaps not be uh, a genuine Beatles song um, because you know what what constitutes uh, you know a genuine Beatles song I mean John's on it Paul's on it George is on it and Ringo's on it so in what way is it not uh, a genuine Beatles song I mean maybe you know <laughs> you know the fact that John wasn't around um, you know is the is really the only uh, you know sort of gray area about it but um, you know I want to sort of you know p put that in line because it's, it's an interesting co uh, topic to sort of discuss because obviously when that came out in 1995 um, you know we didn't have the internet then so we didn't you know unless you actually knew uh Beatles fans you know you had Beatles fans as friends or relatives or whatever at the time you didn't really know what other people uh thought of uh, these these songs and um you know uh it you know it just never really crossed my mind that some people would consider this not to be uh a a Beatles song so if we take this this aspect of it's a John Lennon uh, solo song now as we know um, you know the majority of the Beatles you know um, back catalog uh, the songs written by Lennon McCartney were not really written by them as a duo um, you know most of the songs that John sings were written solely by John and the ones you know solely written by Paul uh, and sung by Paul were, were were Paul's songs, so they've always kind of written separately. Now the grey area here is that you know when say you know John was writing Julia, which is a track uh, you know on the White Album where he is the only person that that wrote it, is the only person that plays on the track. Uh, when he wrote that song, he wrote that for the Beatles, and similarly. Um, you know, with yesterday, something like yesterday, were written by solely by Paul. Uh, Paul's the only Beatle that appears on that track. But those two tracks appeared on albums under the name The Beatles. And you know, I don't have any problem whatsoever um, calling those Beatles songs. I wouldn't call either of those, you know, a, a solo song um, because they're under the name The Beatles and they were written for The Beatles. Now, when John wrote Free as a Bird and Real Love and in and now and then um you know he wouldn't have had any idea um that these would become uh Beatles songs we presumed that um that he was writing them for a time when maybe he returned to uh recording obviously we know they were written sort of around 1977 1978 when he was in his uh, you know his retirement period um that doesn't mean that he didn't stop writing songs because that's what he's he'd always done but he he maybe never thought that he would you know may, maybe not return to to make him records again and you know just writing songs uh for himself or maybe for for other people and um so that that is the kind that's a kind of aspect of this i think that that he you know he didn't write it for the Beatles whereas those other two songs you know Julia yesterday solo songs but they were written with the Beatles in mind 
Now, the other thing that um, I was asked was, what do I consider to be the last ever Beatles song? Another uh, subscriber asked uh, that question, and um, it's a, you know it's a good question. But for me, you know, my answer would be. Uh, real love at the moment that is the last uh beatles song until we get now and then that is the last beatles song as far as i'm concerned but he said he said well i consider um i consider it to be i me mine which is quite interesting because you know i me mine was the last song um that the beatles recorded uh you know when they were still a band although they at that particular time they you know they they kind of weren't already uh, they, they'd already agreed that they were going to be splitting up but uh, you know in January 1970 Paul Ringo and George uh, went into the studio and finished I Me Mine uh, but John wasn't on that session so um, the guy that, that said I Me Mine was the last Beatles song he is considering uh, a song with three Beatles on it uh, more valid as a Beatles song than you know something like that which has got four beetles on it which you know well i just don't agree i don't agree um i i think that the the way that i that what i think about it and people are going to have their own sort of parameters of what they consider to be a true beatles song and for me you know when the beatles were a working band um and putting out records under the name the beatles um i don't think we had to have uh, four Beatles on a on a track to consider it uh, a Beatles track. You know, we've got lots of examples where uh, there was either one, two, or three Beatles on a track, but we don't question that that is a Beatles track. So why are we questioning um, tracks where there are four Beatles? There, all four Beatles are on both these songs. So to me, these are genuine. Beatles songs and I'd love to know what um, what people think uh, about that I mean the, the, the songs that they go and I, I can't I can't bring myself to use the word three alls I, I can't so the term the term three alls was coined by a tabloid newspaper here in the UK called uh, The Sun which is a fairly low brow newspaper and three alls was a kind a kind of pun most of their headlines are kind of puns but they they have to explain things uh, in a very basic way so three alls was basically saying well look it's the Beatles but there's only three of them and that's it and I can't really bring myself to use that expression but when we're talking about the 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 songs that were made after the band uh you know officially split up in other words the the songs that they did for the anthology um project i think that for those songs to be considered uh genuine beatles songs you do have to have all four beatles on the track uh so they can get away with it when they're a working band but when they're not a working band anymore and you know john had passed at that time and now you know George as well has passed you know they have to both of those both of those guys have to be on these records for it to be a genuine Beatles fact uh, Beatles song I don't think that the Beatles um, catalog ends uh, when the band splits up and you know we've seen it with with lo loads of bands loads of people that have died you know we've had you know songs from Jimi hendrix that weren't out while he was still alive and all you know and so it so it goes on so it goes on so you know i don't think to me to me these are genuine beatles songs but i'd love to know what you guys think uh, about that where are your parameters where do you draw the line um as to what is a real beatles song and what isn't a uh, a real Beatles song do, so if it, does it have to be a song uh, that was made while the Beatles were a working band to be a genuine Beatles song or are these uh, genuine Beatles songs because they you know they contain all all four Beatles are on them so how can they not be uh, a Beatles song another thing that was said in the comment is that um, the, the comments was was that that you know just because the press tells us that they're Beatles songs that doesn't mean they are um, Beatles songs but 
the press aren't telling us uh, that these are Beatles songs. Uh, the Beatles are telling us that they're Beatles songs. And if the Beatles are saying um, that they are Beatles songs, then who are we uh, to say, actually, no, they're not. You're wrong, Beatles. Uh, they're, not, they're not Beatles songs. Uh, so anyway, I'm really interested to know what you guys think about this. Uh, please tell me about it down in the comments. Uh, thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you all soon. Bye-bye.